welcome everyone. Good evening or or good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are. Um, and uh, I'm so glad we have a really uh, nice uh, crowd this evening and um, welcome as well to those of you who are watching the replay on YouTube. My name is Betsy Ko, and uh, we've been doing these new member Q and A's via Zoom for uh, over a year now, I guess about a year and a half. Um, I, I, it was uh, an idea that I had um, based on my experience as a teacher during COVID. Uh, I actually was a high school band director for about 12 years. And of course in COVID, we, we all had to uh, go home, which included the band. Um, so uh, it, was, it was quite a challenge learning how, uh, figuring out different ways. Um, but I certainly did see the potentials for um, working with people remotely um, and helping them uh, with, with the Zoom platform. So that's how these sessions were born. And the whole idea is that uh, we hope that um, a couple of the participants with us live will uh, be brave and you know show us their profiles, ask their questions, and we can help them in real time and everybody else watching can learn from it as well. So um, I've been on Wikitree about uh, five years and mm -hmm. I'm uh, active in, uh, my ancestry is, is British on my mother's side and British and Canadian and then Taiwanese on my father's side. So I'm very active in the British, uh, well, the, the England, Wales mm -hmm. and Scotland projects. Uh, Canada project as well, and I'm coordinator for the Taiwan project, which is just getting underway. Um, so, um, Beverly has already kindly agreed that we can answer answer uh, her questions and look at your profiles. So, Beverly, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about your your um, time on Wikitree so far? How's it been? Okay, I'm um, very new. As you know, you uh, spoke to our SIG group. I live in the villages and our genealogy society. Actually, I started it 30 years ago. Uh -huh. And uh, we have special interest groups because they're so big. And uh, you spoke to us and got me all fired up. I think I had looked at Wikitree a while back. Yeah. And I have Family Tree Maker and I have my work on Ancestry. And actually, I had a genealogy dot com web page a while back and I see on Wikitree people are quoting me as a source so that was sort of funny when I saw that but I was just overwhelmed with the robustness and the comp not to say complication but the complexity I guess of Wikitree and all the little buttons to push and I know I haven't pushed uh, all of my buttons but I've I've uh, submitted quite a few and at generation 4 I I linked in with uh and I'm linking in more and more so that's fun. Great. Yes. But I have uh, uh, only one living sister who I tried to put in and I was blocked by it said not trusted by somebody or other and it's my sister and I couldn't figure out why. Well, we have a um we we do treat privacy very carefully on Wikitree. So especially as it pertains to entering a living person, um, we want to make sure that it's okay with the person that that they are on Wikitree. So have you spoken with your sister about it? Is she she fine with it? I haven't. She's ninety three and she just had a bad fall and she's uh, actually broke two bones, so she's not physically able to even talk about it. And I didn't want to give her email address, and maybe that's why the non trusted thing came up. So I guess I'll just let it ride then until she's in better health, and then what? Put her email address in and get her okay. And yes, then, and then it can happen. Yes, and uh, you you can be a co profile manager with her so that she doesn't have to do anything. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we, we do want to make sure that uh, that uh, people consent. Okay. I also found being a newbie uh -huh. that I am repeating. I'm going back and editing a lot where I forgot to do something or I forgot to save, you know, so I'm, I'm yes, learning. Yes, they are. They are creatures of the schedule. Yes, they are. Uh-oh. 
uh, okay, sorry, go ahead, Beverly. Okay, and uh, also I was curious about death certificates. I have those for quite a few ancestors, but I'm not seeing those as an image or even cited. So I wondered about that. Sure. Um, so let, let me share my screen and um, show what I've done. Um, occasionally people will share the, the death certificate. And in some cases, the images of those are available on Ancestry or Family Search. Um, so you could do a link to that. But for instance, if you have, first, let, let me get to. Okay, can everybody see the, the WikiTree homepage? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. good. Okay, so oh, let me. Okay, so if I go to um, my own profile, um, and then what I'm gonna, going to do is, oops. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to my my father's profile. Um, okay, there. Okay, so I I have a, a copy of his death certificate. He passed away in New York, and so what I did is I just listed the source like this. Um, and I, I guess what I could do is I could add a little more detail in terms of saying um, that it is a New York death certificate and give the certificate number. I wondered about that. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. Them... Right. So that, uh, in my case, I have the actual death certificate, so I could just take a photo of it and use it could. that way as a source. But yes. Yeah. Uh, is there a time period that I should wait and not put it for? A hundred years after their death, or well, that can't be because they only had death certificates since nineteen hundred. So right, right. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's why uh, you know when I, of course, I was um, getting started with WikiTree, and you know I did my parents first, and my first instinct was I put out put up a copy of my father's death certificate, and then I thought, oh, yeah. you know. Maybe that's not wise. So that's why I went this route. Um, I there's not there's not an official line in the sand with with you know when you should put w okay. the recentness when you should have a not Just your best, best judgment or whatever best judgment. Yeah. Okay, and then my only other question was about the DNA connection. It's listed there, and on a couple of mine, it'll yeah. say, have another name or two there beside me. But uh -huh. I guess I need to read more about that to know. Sure. Can, can we look at your profile, Beverly? Okay, I have to think about this. I'm talking to you on my iPad, and I have it on my, um, my uh, Mac, and I don't have that set up for Zoom. So I can access it on my iPad. Oh. You know what, this this might be valuable for people um, to show how to search somebody. So let, let me just, at the top of every page. Okay, now um, your, your profile name would be your maiden name. O-V-I-A-T-T. O-V-I-A-T-T. -T. Yeah. Okay. Actually, probably if I put in your... Uh, your married name, it would come up as well. But um, there you are. Okay, great. So um, where where did you test for DNA? Uh, both the Ancestry and Family Tree DNA. Mm -hmm. uh, the mitochondrial and uh, autosomal. Oh, you okay? So you have two mito, two autosomal tests, and one mitochondrial test. Right, right, right. And ancestry, I have like forty six thousand matches or whatever. So, <laughs> um, my ancestors have been here since colonial times, so that's why it's yeah. easy. I've identified way over a thousand of my direct ancestors. It's easy because they're all in the United States. So, yes. yeah, it took me a lot of years, but I did. right. 
Right. Wonderful. That's it. That's exciting. So, so remember when you put your test on Wikitree, then every ancestor that you have, where you have, you know, traced a line of descent, your test will appear on their profile. Does that make sense? Okay. All I did was tell them I took it. So they don't have the results, right? Right, right. But, but the, okay. So uh, is it okay? I'm going to go to your parents. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Your father's profile. And what it will say is um, 50%. 50%, which in the case of parents, it really <laughs> will be 50%. Okay. You will, you will see it when we go to, if we went to a grandparent, it'll say 25%. And um, as we all know, we, we, don't get it exactly 25 from each of our grandparents. So these are theoretical, um, theoretical percentages. But uh, let me ask you this. When you up, uh, when you um, registered your DNA on Wikitree, did you enter your ancestry um, ID or? or um, I don't think so. Right. So. You would think it can't pick up cousins and all that, but uh, well, where is, can I go back and see if I did it right yeah. and do it correctly? Where am I going to find? So, it? so yeah, let me show this for the sake of everybody, of course. So, we're going to under on your profile add DNA test information. Okay. So I see that you're you're on now. This is this is me. Um, I have uploaded my um, DNA autosomal results to GEDmatch, and which mm. is a, a free third party um, uh, website where, where it's a very good, um, um, powerful tools um, for connecting with matches. So I have my GEDmatch up ID here, and then I have my Ancestry.com username. Username. Yeah. So let's let's pretend that we're to add a new test. I, I I don't have any further DNA to add, but at least we'll see what supposing I took a test at 23 and. So once I tell the system, okay, the company, um, and then you would let's see. I want to make sure. No, I don't want to do. It's looking, it's looking like, are there my mitochondrial results? Add new tests. And that was all under add. Okay. Well, let's let's try my heritage. Okay. So if I were to add the test, okay. Um, it's interesting. I don't see the 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 the, the fields where I would enter that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I didn't actually test at uh, at my heritage. But um, yeah, th does. Does that help, Beverly? Did yes. you? Yeah. I'll go to add and, and see uh, and get my ID from Ancestry and Family Tree and put it up there. Right. So I have right. a question about this page. Sure. Um, I have added DNA test results for myself, mm -hmm. but I also have tested my brothers and mother. Um, see how you're under... Co thirty one logged in. Would I have to be logged in as them to add their test? Well, they they have to add you. You can't add DNA for somebody else. So, do they are they members of WikiTree? No, you see, uh, like from an ancestry perspective, as an example, I manage their kits, but I guess you're saying WikiTree doesn't work that way. Oh, exactly. Okay. I I know exactly what you mean because I I manage kits for a couple of older relatives, but yeah, if you can just sit with them and and walk them through it, uh, that that's what you would want to do. Okay. Yeah. 
Thanks. Sure. Um, and then when you're off of DNA, I have a question for you about uh, various trees on this site. Or okay. The okay. Um, look, Beverly, um, is there any other anything else we can talk about with your DNA questions? No, I think that's it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and I, I really do encourage you to to check out GEDmatch um, to to load your okay. DNA. I'll look at that. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing was, I think I wondered what their limit is on biographies. I think maybe I've added too much. And I'm not sure I'm doing my sources. It looks to me like you want links rather than uh, like I have multiple sources for people, but they they were before computers, so they aren't links. So I have to go back and check all the censuses and get a link, right? And find Brave or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Sue, I'm just going to answer this question, then we'll, we'll come over to you. Um, so if I go to my profile and there, there's no, uh, I see, saw Anne vehement, uh, adamantly shaking her head. There's no such thing as too long a bio. Okay. And, I mean, we really, I, that's one of the things that I find so appealing about Wikitree is that you can tell the story of your ancestor very richly. So if we take, for example. Wait, how did you do the oh, tree view? Oh, sure. Um yeah, that's kind of a cool thing. So here I am on my profile and right where the family relationships are listed, show ancestors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And um, I actually, my screen may look a little different from yours because I'm using the Wikitree browser extension. Oh, Is there, there anyone who would like me to switch out and use the other the other view. Okay. Um, so going to my, uh, here's, here's one of my great grandmothers where I did quite, quite a big biography for her. Um, I think, I think you probably saw me show this one off when I talked to the villages. Right. Uh, yeah. So I'm using inline citations and yes, I, uh, I started my tree on Ancestry, but then as I've transferred things over, I made sure to go and find the records on Family Search so that there's no paywall whenever possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then then the uh, the sources all go at the end. Um, if you do the sources with ast little asterisks, just bullet points, okay. Um, that's okay too. The, the only... Um, problem with that is you don't necessarily know what fact the source is backing up you know like here with the inline sortation citations it's like the census records show that the five, first oldest children were born in cardiff and there's the record to back it up so that's that's a nice feature so when you do inline references you have a number and then all your sources are numbered instead of uh, bulleted right exactly okay. exactly and so, so that for you that. can go back and do that at any time, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Back and edit. Yeah. You yeah. can keep keep polishing, buffing up that those profiles, you know, forever. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And 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 also be be sure to download the WikiTree Sorcerer. It will help you a lot doing um I, your, I your, did do your that, but that is really complex. So I mean I have to learn it too. It's very <laughs> robust. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, but powerful. Yes, powerful. But, but one thing nice is that Wikitree has fantastic YouTubes on uh, uh, Wikitree source and sources, and that's how I learned <laughs> by you. But by going over to the Wikitree YouTubes, uh, and they're fantastic. They they, they really helped me with the yeah. With the but one by one, each of the sources. Extensions, yeah, I did do that. Yeah, and there's, um, if you go to the uh, the Wikitree help page for Sorcerer, I believe there are um, links to some of these YouTube videos that Anne's talking about. 
including right. one done by Rob Pavey, who mm -hmm. is the um, developer. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I will drop this in the chat. Um, sorry, sorry if I'm <laughs> being a little slow tonight um, since I'm handling everything on my own. So there, there's the link for the Sourcer Help page. Yeah, and we can we can talk more about it um, after. Let me let me answer Sue's question, and then we'll see. So as as a uh, newcomer to WikiTree, but I have been doing family history for a while. Would mm -hmm. you say the best way to focus is on um, building out? pages for my closest relatives yeah um what what you want to do yes yeah, start start from your parents and build out now it's it's really up to you whether you want to um only do your direct ancestors or whether uh some people don't like to be slowed down by adding in brothers and sisters but <laughs> You never know. It could be that great grand aunt who is your connection into the tree. You just never know. Um, so, um, and at some point, like Beverly said, she she had to go four generations back. But at some point, you're going to go to create a profile and the system will say, hey, wait a minute. We think we have that person already. And so then you look and you you see, is it really the same person? And if it is, use that profile and then you're going to be connected in. And I have um, a question about DAR Patriots. Before okay. I became more active in uploading GenCom and DNA results to Wikitree, I yeah. would just search Wikitree for DAR Patriots. Mm -hmm. um, do people... So there are people that manage those pages, but um, can you ask to be invited to them to potentially um, add additional information? Uh, you mean to the profiles? Correct. Yes. So um, any profile where you have, so we have these different levels of privacy. So if you see this open lock, that means that anyone can go in and add information to the profile. Uh, you know, and uh, now I, I'll, I'll say alongside that, that if you see that there's a profile manager and you have something um, very significant to add, um, it's, it's, you know, nice to reach out to the profile manager and say, introduce yourself and say you have more information and let's work together because that's the nature of our whole community. So, um, uh, I see they do have a project for DAR. Yes, Patriots, and I, and, and oh, I have, oh, how do how do you find that? So you have to be a member for a certain amount of time because I have to wait. I'm going to do that as soon as I can. Okay, but I have to wait. You have to be a a DAR member or a WikiTree member for a certain amount of time. You have to be a wiki in WikiTree for a certain amount of time before you can do that. I mean, you have okay. to be, I think you have to be a DAR member and you have to be approved by them, right? Mm -hmm. Betsy, yeah. isn't that right? To get that a project, correct. they have to approve you. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I think to get, well, let's look at it. So um, I, I want to show everybody how to find project. Pro so under find, going down to projects mm -hmm. and, and uh, you'll see that we have a large number of geographical projects the Appalachia Project, Australia, et cetera. Um, so I'm going to go past those and then we're going to get to our topical projects. So sorry for the scrolling. Um, as you can see, there's a wonderful number of projects. So, um, and projects are a great way to connect with other people who are researching in the areas that you're interested in. So um, almost there. Okay, themed projects. Um, so we've got cemeterists, disasters. Let's see. 
I would have thought it would be under. It is. Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Beverly. <laughs> and there's Mayflower. I want to do that too. Yeah. May Mayflower's there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And um all of all of the projects, if you want to join them, it's the same procedure. Like let's look at Mayflower for an example. In this box, it says answer our G2G welcome post. So G2G stands for genealogist to genealogist. And it's it's basically our message board um, where we post announcements and uh, que questions. Um, so so each project has a post on G2G and that's how you, you sign on. Okay, Native Americans, notables. Puritan Great Migration. Okay, societies. I think, no, no. Oh, uh, there was one about wars back there, and that might have been it. Yeah. Because now, now we're getting into the third category of functional projects. And these are um, not so much research projects as they are doing projects like uh, the Adoption Angels, our group of wiki treers who help people who are adopted and trying to figure out their, their um, biological families. Uh, we have mentors, ambassadors. So we're, I think we do need to go back. Southern Colonies. I think there's one called Military. Mm -hmm. Might be there, I think. And then I have another idea um, for for finding DA, DAR profiles. Um, New Netherland. There. there Netherland and war. So let's just just since we're here, <laughs> click on click on the main header. And then you can find out more about what uh, what the project does. And right. some of them, some of them you'll see here, um, their requirements are you have to have signed the honor code, a minimum of 100 contributions, and a member of Wikitree for at least one month. Yeah, I think it's a month. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are a few projects, uh, for example, England, Scotland, uh, to name two, where they have training trails. So for Folks who are coming in who maybe do not have years and years of genealogy, family history research under their belt, mm -hmm. those training trails are marvelous. I did all three levels of the Scotland Tartan Trail. I did two levels of the England Trail, and I learned so much. Um, you work with um, a guide. And uh, Anne, did you do any of the trails? Yeah, uh, um, what, what I did was I did the Canadian Trail, mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I did all three. And I, I also went to the path for, uh, for the United States Black History Heritage. And, oh, and, 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 and I did all three. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's fantastic because one thing nice about the Canadian one and all the other projects is that you learn more about the history and then you learn more and more about all the different projects and also the different profiles. It's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so they're, they're often like England calls it the orphan trail because we work on orphaned profiles. So if you, uh, if you go to... Well, here's a here's a cool feature. I'm going to find a random profile. Okay. Um, now this one has has a profile manager, but sometimes you will come across a profile where it says no pro no profile manager. Would you like to adopt this? I and, did. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so um. The, the England project uses these orphan profiles and uh, you learn, the participant learns a whole lot. The, the orphan profile gets uh, an injection of <laughs> attention and research skill and love. And, and um, so it's a win-win. <coughs> so um, my other thought, Sue, for um, finding um, 
DAR in information is categories. So uh, again, under the find menu, um, categories. Okay. Now, the question will be. Go under. Well, go under help and then search. I know it's there because I saw it. <laughs> right. Yeah, because right. someone, okay. uh, yeah, because I think yeah, Anne put things in stuff. chat. Oh, uh, let's see. Where do you see? Societies. I I really feel like there has the to be oh, societies. Good eye. Okay. United States. You see these categories, they go very deep. There we go. <laughs> Daughters of the American Revolution. Woo, it's a dumb subcategory. <laughs> yep, yep, we found it. And then we, we further have, uh, well, let's look at this one. This one has the most. Patriot Ancestors. 32,742 profiles. And oh, now... Okay. Here is the cool thing. Um, I can take any category and now go up into the upper <laughs> right hand corner and see my connections. And it will it will search amongst those 32,000 plus profiles and it will tell me these are my ancestors and cousins who have the DNA, oh, DNA. So this is bouncing up against your GenCom file. Uh, it's it's basing it on my my family tree that I've entered into WikiTree. So okay. let's let's take one example. The closest. Well, I'll just show you first. We have ancestors and cousins, and then we have connections where there must be some sort of marriage involved. So, but let's go to my closest cousin is Daniel Abe. And if I click on four, 14 generations, it's going to show me, thinking about it. <laughs> and, and there we go. Um, third cousins, six times removed. And it shows the pathway. Um, and that's not even direct, yeah, no. lineage, which it must be for DAR, it has to be direct. But uh, that's amazing, that is an amazing, amazing uh, aspect of this. Yeah, I'm we... giving lots of tips tonight, thank you. Oh, yeah, good, for good. Sure. and let me show you this, uh, this other view. Um, some people don't like it, but uh, I, I guess I've gotten used to seeing it so. This is for one of my connections. And uh, you will see this um, for um, the connections of the week, for connections checkers. Uh, the change of color means that there has been a marriage. So, so we go from Levi, and this is all direct, 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 blood, and then oh. here's marriage. And then more direct, so, direct. Um, did, did it? Uh, did you color it or it automatically is colored based on the information you put in? The Yes, no, the system colored it based on my tree. Like, for instance, I put in my mother, her father, my great grandmother. There's he's a second great and then my second second great aunt. And then it's her husband who ties in. And the path continues that way. So um, once you connect into the tree, we have a weekly theme every week. Um, and I'll have to get to the bottom of my profile. Hang on. Let me hide. That'll get me. Okay. So our theme this week is New York Architects. And so you can see um, these these are uh, the our pro profile uh, connection 
folks pick these profiles and but I can see my connection to each of them. So Frederick mm -hmm. Olmstead and uh and then I can I can uh see the pathway and the whole connection checkers game has mm -hmm. to do with challenging us to verify that each connection in the chain is correctly sourced. And that's a, that's a really fun exercise, actually. <laughs> so. Yeah. so then once people are more involved, it uh, you focus on a different theme each week and anyone who's a wiki tree uh, contributor or collaborator can uh, participate. Yes, um, there would be a um, a post in G2G every week and um, that will announce connection checkers. Um, let me let's just go to G2G for a second. I'm gonna yeah, I, I just um, started with this this week, so I've just started to see the emails. Oh, right, right. Um, so Wikitree. G to G, um, you'll want to make sure, um, so that you're that you're following certain tags. So the tags, see, I, these are the tags I'm following, and some of them, some of them are things like um, surnames, my family surnames. Uh, others are countries, regions that I'm interested in, and then um, I recommend that everybody follow announcements. Okay, yeah, because I only did three um, to follow as starters and uh -huh. announcements was not one of them. Yep. So I will yep. do that. Yep. And then that that will uh, catch catch all the uh, the big community uh, news. Yeah. And, and where do you access the tags? I missed those. Oh, okay. Uh, let me show that. Anne, did you have a qu uh, comment? Go on, go on, go okay. on. Go. Okay, so... If you just go, um, you see this, do you see this box on your own profile, Beverly? So right next to it, there's an edit button. button, And then I click on that. Now you can only follow 20 tags. So I'm at my limit. So that means if I want to, if I want to follow a new tag, I have to make some tough decisions. Yeah. But, um, yeah. You would, you would just at the bottom, add a new tag. Okay. I just didn't see that yet. Yeah. Um, so then that sort of customizes your G2G feed um, that you get in the emails. Um, let me see. Yes, Anne, why don't you go ahead while I'm... Right. Um, uh, before I'm... you go to the end, be sure to tell them about the fun. And um, are, are, are the news going to be in... In, in the fun this year? They yes. sure are. Okay. That's why I, I picked my shirt very carefully tonight. Yes, I will definitely talk about the thon. Um, connection checkers. Um, oh, um, so may I ask a very quick question going back to the orphaned um, yes. profiles? Yes. So when I was doing my upload of my right. tree data, Mm -hmm. It was identifying, you know, GOV 605, 606. There will be stuff over the weekend, um, I'm But sure. there were I some people that didn't have uh, numbers automatically assigned. Does that mean they're like orphaned people with no home yet? So let, let me make sure I understand correctly. So you uploaded a JEDCOM? Yes. Okay. And, and okay. so many of the people were already there. It said look at this and see if it's yeah. a match. So it right. was a suggestion right. yep. and some of them I've marked as matches and some I'm still reviewing. And there yep. were some people on the list that did not say suggestion. Okay. So, so it could be um, that the ones that are a match as in your, your family, your relative is already on Wikitree, that that might be an orphan profile. And in which case you should adopt it. Um, okay. Gotcha. Um, yep. Now I know what to look for. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yep. And um, e even if there is a profile manager, then you can request to be on the trusted list. Um, I, either that or to be a co-profile manager, you know, just send the person a private message. Um, do you know how to do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Send a private message, uh, introduce yourself, say, oh, oh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm also related to this person. I'd like to be on the trusted list or, or be co-profile manager. Uh, I think that's a very reasonable request if it's a direct ancestor. And um, yeah. And then, okay, sounds good. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and then, yep, go ahead, Anne. In my case, with the, the adoption of the person that I asked if I could add some biographical info, they said, please become the manager because it's only a great, great aunt or whatever of mine. And I'd be happy since it's one of your grandparents, you know, one of your direct ancestors, I'd be happy if you'd take it over for me. So oh, nice. I, yeah. 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 Good. Um, so you can see um, uh, with Connection Checkers a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, princesses and uh, that was a fun one. Um, so you'll see a post like this, um, which will um, show who the who the profiles are and and then how you actually play Connection Checkers um, to. Uh, and I mean, if you if you really want to. Uh, get competitive about it. You can, <laughs> you can go on one of these variations. But I just think that it's a great um, learning exercise to look at each pair of profiles and see, like, do I, as a genealogist, feel confident in this in this link that has been made? So. Um, Okay, um, so Anne talked about the Thon. So we do, uh, Wikitree has four, uh, four marathons, we call them Thons, um, four Thons a year. Uh, so we have one coming up the weekend of October 4th, 4th through 7th. Um, it's a 72 hour event. And this one that we do in the fall is particularly focused on sourcing. The other three are focused on connections and building building your your uh, branches and making them fluffier, basically, um, or or any other any branches for that matter on Wiki, WikiTree. Um, so the sourceathon um, particularly looks for profiles that do not have any sources and to give them at least one, maybe more um, good sources. So we actually do have categories. If I, let's see, if I go back to my categories and look differently, um, there should be a whole, uh, collection of unsourced categories. Um, and those are good places to look. Um, okay, may, it would be a maintenance category. And unsourced profiles. There's a lot. We better get busy that first weekend in October. So you can see here they are they are organized out by continent. So if I go to North America, then you know, say I know we have some folks on the call from Indiana, and so say we want to, uh, you know, you feel really comfortable with those Indiana records, then come on down and work in the Indiana category could you maybe uh, open one of those so i yeah. could see the... absolutely uh so let's i i the... put initial source information and in. i don't know if it would come up as unsourced or if it just needs a beefier source right right okay uh i'm trying to pick someone who's not not too well let's try Let's try Henry Child. Solid 19th century. Okay. 
So, yes, we have nothing. <laughs> So, so this, this profile needs, and really, you know, falling in the 19th century, um, we really should be able to find something. This, you know, should be an easy, easy uh, uh, find for, for the source um, to find a census record or a birth record, um, something like that. Because it looks like this one doesn't even have someone who's working on that profile, the, right? Project yeah. manager. We have oh, is the, there? Man, the manager. Oh, oh, there says, it is. There it is. Okay, gotcha. That he is the source. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, we, okay, gotcha. We need a little more than that. Yep. Gotcha. Um, so um the new team, and I'll show my show my my shirt again. It says WikiTree Newts. And Newt is an acronym for new to WikiTree. Um, so let me take you to, so we have um, created a team. This will be the second oh, um, cute. I know, where we've had, the, we've had a new team for people who are new to WikiTree or it's their first thon, uh, you know, or just they want a more, you know, a slower paced um, sort of learning environment. Um, so it's uh, the, the new team is, is well the philosophy is it's about learning and camaraderie not high scores so we have a lot of extra supports um there's myself and two other captains and we act as coaches and we have we have a zoom meeting um about a week before the event when we um go through um well we're going to go through all of these skills this is what we're going to going to uh help people learn, you know, how do you find those on source profiles? How do you use Sourcer? Um, how do you create citations? Um, how do you collaborate using Dis Discord and G2G, which are the two huge ways that Wikitreers communicate? Um, so okay. We'll have, so, um, yeah. Okay, so uh, my kid choose Discord. Oh. Uh, I haven't, is that... Is that, do you have to um, download something to be able to communicate that way? Yes, yeah. Um, the uh, setup pro, yeah. The setup process for Discord is a little fussy, but once you get through it, it's all good. <laughs> so here's the, here's the help page. Um, let me go to the chats. So um yeah you have to you have to set up an account on on Discord free account and then follow these um these instructions. Okay, thanks. Sure. And let me uh, yes, Stephen is correct. Also please remove the unsourced template from the uh from the page uh once you've Let's see. I don't know where that uh, oh here's our guy so we can see that um, there's there's a template here, and so once you add a source during the sourceathon, then you would just delete this code. Um, and how would you delete it? So let me show you how to do that. So without actually doing it, <laughs> I'm going into edit modes, and so. I'm a little, I'm a little slow tonight. There we go. Okay. So this, this is what's creating. Yep. So you would just, anything that has the du double curly brackets is mm -hmm. a template or a sticker. So you would just, when you're done, you've added the source. Um, and, and you, you could, you could delete this because he's already the profile manager. Um, so, so you can, you can delete that and put in a census or a death record or whatever you find to prove the existence of this person. So, um, now, since I'm not going to do that right now, though, I'm going to return without saving. And um, let me also give 
this page. Now, um, not not to uh, just uh, promote the new team. Let me also show you once I put this in here um, that we have probably about thirty five teams that you can choose from. So, yep. And what? Who are you? Uh, who are you sourcing for? Northeastern. I am in the Northwest Interiors. Oh, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Okay, a lot a lot of the teams have like a a little uh, code slogan. So, um, if I go to the G two G post, this is how you. <laughs> yeah, oh. everybody who participates gets a little bib, just like you're doing a doing a, a race. So we have Appalachia roots. We have. Um, the banyan tree, um, which focuses on India. We have, um, we have, again, like the projects, we have um, both geographical teams, and then we have some functional tree teams, uh, like the Grave Guardians. Uh, they are focused on wanting to do a much more complete job on each profile before they, um, before they leave it. The Todlin Tortoises, is another good team where if you feel like you don't want to um, be concerned with you know a, a high number of points or getting through a lot, um, then then that's a good team for you. So uh, the thons are just really fun, and we have we have live casts every four hours, um, and uh, it's it's a good time. People talk about what they're what they're discovering and what snacks they're eating and. Um, you know, just generally geek out about genealogy. So, so I will put this G2G link in the chat. And I think it's very soon that you, you have to, if, if you end up, the registration is very soon, isn't it? Uh, I think it, it will go until the Wednesday before. Oh, Wednesday yeah. Okay. Before. Okay. And Stephen, I don't know. <laughs> I could I could look it up for you later, but I'm handling A to A to M, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be seeing uh, the the thread on the tree nuts, but I can look for you later. Mm -hmm. No, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So um, so I vote if it's um. 72 hours. Um, are there any groups where you could participate in part of the time if there are already some things going on that weekend? Uh, you mean to be a part of the thon or not, or to do something uh, different? If uh, to be a part of the thon, do you have to? Um, be able to commit to all of the time except for yeah. sleeping time. No, because <laughs> we we all do have lives outside of WikiTree. So, um, you know, and, and we understand that people have family barbecues and, and weekend jobs and that sort of thing. So no, no one's, no one's expecting uh, you to sign on a line that you're going to participate X number of hours. Yeah, everybody does what they can. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's as much as you want. That's all. You know, it's just you know, ha just having fun with uh, uh with, with with everybody and and ha enjoying the different camaraderie between all the different people and so forth. It's a nice tension before between the different groups. It's fun. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um. And let me just show you. Um. We every every um uh, April every month we have this G two G post and I know this is April I'm I'm trying <laughs> to get <laughs> Anne is Anne is always my, my our proof our proofreader par excellence for these if there's a little mistake she uh she lets us know oh I want I want uh, September goodness I thought it would pop right up. In the related questions, well, no luck for me. Okay, so you can see using using May as an example that everything that is going on. This is a great calendar 
to uh, to maybe keep open on a tab because it shows you um, all the different challenges that are going on, um, the different events, the live casts, um, and uh, you know it's a it's a real good way to keep your finger on the pulse of things. So, what's happening? Yeah, I'll try one more time. What's <laughs> happening, September? Okay. There it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. I should have done that before. Okay. So I'll drop I'll drop this in the link in the uh in the chat. So we we are coming up on the hour. Um, do we have any burning questions that have not been answered? Mm -hmm. oh, I really appreciate it. Learned oh, lots of things. Good, good, wonderful. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to put my wiki tree ID in the in the chat, so you can easily find my profile. And if you have any questions that come to you, you know, any in the days following this, just send me a private message. And uh, and I'll get right back to you. So, um, oh yeah, Stephen, your your backgrounds are always really really nice, and a family reunion, very appropriate. Trying to get a few of them to join Wiki Tree too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. How about um, images? Do they limit yeah. those or you can put several on? Uh, so the recommendation for a person profile is 10, 10 images. Okay. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and, you know, I, I think I might have 11 or 12 on, on some of my grandparents and, um, and, you know, they haven't, the police have not come, WikiTree police have not come for me. So. Um, but one thing I will say with images is say you have a group shot from a family reunion. Um, and so it's got four people in it and they all have WikiTree profiles. You would not upload the image four times. What you would do is you would upload it once and then you'd link it to each of the profiles. So we do, we do, um, that practice to save on on storage space. Yeah. Yes, and watch the copyrights. Yeah. So sometimes, um, uh, now now family a family photo that's a different thing. And I would um, for source, I always just say scan from family from personal photo collection, and that's fine. Um, but say it's an image you found online, then you do have to be careful um, with whether it's under copyright or not. There's um there's a really good um, website. Let me see if I can grab this quickly for you, where everything on the website is um, copyright free or the 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 um, creator of the image has given permission for for it to be used. So like if I'm, um, when I was doing the uh, orphan trail for the England project, we would often put a photo of the church where the baptism took place. And so I would always go to this this website to look for a church. It's It's amazing what they have there. Very, very rich resource. But this is a great way to share family photos that no yes. one can see in any other way. You own them and no one else can see them, but mm -hmm. now they can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Anne, Anne writes, uh, see you on Saturday for the roundup. Um, the, the, I, I have a, a very fond place in my heart for the Saturday roundup live cast which is on YouTube at 10 in the morning, Eastern 
uh, Eastern time um, because it was really the place, it was my entry point into the community. It's where I got to feel like a, I got to know a few people and I, they uh, they show a lot of profiles. And so just, you know, by seeing examples of what was possible, it uh, it really got me excited, more excited about Wikitree and, uh, you know, Fast forward four or five years, and now I'm one of the co-hosts. So it's thank you, Anne. <laughs> so we we uh, we show um, the profiles, the connection checkers profiles, and we celebrate ancestors of the month. So people can say, "Oh, I have an ancestor with a link to September," and we look at their profiles. We do tips and uh, question of the week. For instance, this month. Uh, the question this week, the question of the week is, do you have nurses in your family tree? So it's just, it's just a really uh, fun grab bag of what's going on in the community. So um, definitely subscribe to YouTube's channel, um, uh, Wikitree's channel on YouTube. And just thank you very much. All right. You're welcome. So, um, and come, come to these sessions as often as you want. And uh, there's a, it's not like a one-time only thing. We love to see repeat visitors. All right. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.